Welcome to video 53 in series 3, and in this video I'll show you what you need to do to upgrade to Unity 5.3. Alright, so Unity 5.3 at the time of making this has just come out, and there's a fair bit of code that is obsolete now. It'll still work, but we've got all these warning messages, and well, warning messages aren't very nice, and so the code needs to change. And it's actually a bit of an annoying upgrade, this one. This is a lot of stuff that, uh, well, a lot of things are affected and everyone's projects will be affected by this one, uh, by this upgrade. But anyway, let's get into it. Let's start making changes. Okay, so this one's about the particle system. I started with this one first, it's a bit stranger. Uh, and this is about turning off the emission. So I actually have to make a uh, new variable. So I'm going to call it particle system dot emission module and I'm just right here the name for it something like this system is equal to system so it's going through each of the particle systems and disabling them uh, in this script that's what it's doing so dot um, uh, emission so now what we have to do is we actually have to because you can't alter the emission directly see so you can see there it's a get only you can only retrieve information so in order to be able to alter its enabled status we have to set up a reference to it and then alter the reference instead so then this system dot enable is equal to false and that'll work okay so that's one uh, item fixed uh, next, uh, we've got to change all these load level stuff. There's also another one, touch input mode. So this one is pretty much this bit of code is now obsolete, and it's saying that it's already taken care of inside of standalone input module. So I'll just comment it out. Okay, I'll go back. And I think there's another one like that. Let me just increase the size of this one moment. Okay, and uh, let's have a look here. Another one, yep. Okay, so I'll just comment this one out too. Go back. Now I've got lots of load level stuff. So now application of load level is obsolete. So this is a massive change. There's a new system. It's a scene manager. So everybody using Unity is probably affected who's making any project that has more than one scene. So that's why I was saying this is probably the one of the most annoying Unity upgrades of the lot, because, boy, I can imagine lots of people are having to change lots of scripts. So Unity Editor Scene Management. So we must use that. And I'll call, I'll just uh, take this out. And I'll say Scene Manager. One moment, Scene Manager. Oh, oops, I just realized what I was doing. I meant to say Unity Engine. So I'm trying to uh, just directly access so scene manager. Now I can do that. Dot uh, load scene. And now I can put that in. All right. So that's it. Yeah, it's about getting used to this new thing where we have to actually, uh, well, open up that namespace and then add this stuff here. I don't really like that actually. I think that this is a bit too fundamental. You commonly want to do stuff with the scene, but anyway, maybe it's more efficient or something in the back end. Dot scene management, okay, again, comment this out. Scene manager dot load scene, and it's going to be the currently loaded scene, so scene manager dot um, get active scene dot name. All right, and that will load. That is equivalent to loading the same scene. And uh, okay, let's get the other ones done. Okay, again using the engine dot scene management. All right, and then scene manager dot uh, load scene number one. Okay. All right, so that's done. Uh, next, another one. So this isn't even our script. It's from uh, another asset, from one of the standard assets. Okay. Scene manager 
dot load level async and it's going to be scene manager dot uh, get active scene dot name all right let's comment this out all right next what's this one okay another one like that so again using unity engine dot scene management okay going back down scene manager dot load scene no not that load scene load scene scene manager dot get active scene name comment this out okay so that looks like uh, that for the warning messages but we're not done so if I hit play then there's gonna be an error down there okay so let me just stop playing it's a really funny strange one it makes absolutely no sense when you read it what it's trying to complain about is the uh, panel instructions, the content size fitter. It's complaining. I don't know what exactly it's saying, but uh, what it really is complaining about is that it doesn't like that vertical is preferred size for some reason. You have to set it to min size to make it quiet. All right, so let's hit play again. Jump in. All right, so yeah, no problem. Or the inventory. I uh, will come to that later. Who knows? Maybe we might have a problem. Well, let me just look at that anyway right now while I'm at it. Let's expand that out. Content. Yeah, so maybe I'll try uh, min size for that. Anyway, just ahead of time. Okay. All right. Fine. Oh, okay, so that works. That does that. So those are uh, the warning messages that I'm aware of. Now, there's something really odd going on with uh, the lighting. So if I go to the main menu and I hit play and I hit play game and yeah, the scene lighting is off. And this is a strange one. Like fix it in one version. Yeah, then there's some strange error message. Some blah, blah thing down there. No idea what it's talking about, but it's annoying enough that I'll just turn off auto light baking. Just build it and then just build the light mapping. You can tell that it's some weird kind of Unity bug because our project is way too simple. This is this sim project has got nothing in it just about, and yet we're having uh, uh, obscure errors like that. So it's nothing about what you and I are doing. It's just simply the uh, engine that's uh, being annoying at this point. So okay, if I hit play game, all right, at least the uh, lighting is working. And it's there, I'm not getting any strange, uh, well, okay, it appeared again anyway. It's did get the strange messages. But at least the lighting was there when I transitioned scene. Okay, so that's it for the Unity 5.3 conversion. The main stuff is all done. We've edited the scripts, fixed up some strange UI thing, and lighting may well be a problem for some time until I figure something out or until it's actually fixed up in Unity itself. And uh, so we don't get pointless messages down there that don't help us. All right, anyway, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.